right now we have come to the time of prayer where you and me are gonna agree in the name of Jesus Christ there are people in here right now many of us have come here with emotional instability some of us are having panic attacks blackouts heart palpitations and we know that these things are caused by evil spirits in the book of Matthew 9 32 the Bible says that they brought to Jesus a man who was afflicted by evil spirits and who could not speak the moment that he was prayed for and set free from those afflictions he started talking this means that evil spirits are the cause of those problems whatever the problem is that you may be facing today you should know that evil spirits are the cause many of the things we face it seems as if it's normal issues rejection isolation no affection in our marriage problems in relationships no promotion at work all those things are caused by evil spirits and the Bible says that when we agree in the name of Jesus demons has to flee right now we are gonna pray together and some of us as we're here right now you can hit, feel your heart beginning to beat faster. Get ready for your own encounter with Jesus Christ. Jesus is right here and he's going to touch your life today. Freedom is a gift from God Almighty. And when it's time for us to pray, make sure that you do not negotiate with evil spirits. That you say that you are afflicted by evil spirits doesn't mean that you are possessed with a demon in your heart. Demons can come and go. Demons can afflict a family and it will manifest in one person one time and another person one time. The most important thing is that at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, we don't care where you came from, who you are or where you sit. You must go. And that is our prayer today. But before we command evil spirits to go, the Bible says that without holiness, nobody can encounter God Almighty. Right now, there are things that happen in our life that we are going to pray for God Almighty to wash away. Many of the things that we do, experience, see or listen to during the week can hinder our prayer and put a roof over our prayer life. I'm talking about things that are not pleasing to the Spirit of God. Right now, the first thing we need to do in preparation for encounter with God Almighty is to pray for the forgiveness of those things that we have done consciously or unconsciously for God Almighty to wash us with His precious blood. Right now, it is time for you and I to call upon the blood of Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me from everything I have done, consciously or unconsciously. Wash me with your precious blood. Wash me white as snow. In Jesus' name, begin to pray right now. Begin to pray for yes. God Almighty to Jesus, wash we ask you. you that you begin to wash us with your precious blood. That you begin to cleanse us and make us white as snow. From, Father, our, our thoughts, from our motives, from our actions. Lord, from the things that we've done consciously or unconsciously. The things that were done or left undone. We ask you that the blood of Jesus will begin to cleanse our mind. Cleanse our hands. Cleanse our hearts. Cleanse our actions. Cleanse our motives, Lord. I desire desires that we our father that left and there's nothing between you and your presence nothing between you father and our hearts lord we ask you that you make us pure as snow that there's no shame that there's no guilt that there's no the father condemnation of sin left in us lord that you begin to cleanse us let the blood of jesus wipe us let us while jesus begin to cleanse everything about us lord that we can run into your presence without guilt or shame in jesus name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray Holy Spirit contact us right now Holy Spirit contact us right now 
contact us right now Holy Spirit right now in the name of Jesus let us agree in prayer right now let us command those demons say Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ you evil spirit I don't care where you come from where are you in my body where are you in my career where are you in my family I called you by your name come out come out come out out of my body out 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 make sure to command it out right now in the name of Jesus step into the believer's authority command it out in the name of Jesus call it by its name you familiar spirit you unclean spirit come out of my life in the name of Jesus out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus I take authority over every demon I take authority over every spirit over every hindering spirit in this place and I cast you out in Jesus name every spirit of infirmity hiding in God's people right now I take authority over you and I command you loose your grip loose your grip loose your grip out in Jesus name out in Jesus name I come against every spirit of setback in Jesus name set Setback in relationship, setback in business, setback in finances, setback in schooling, you spirit of setback. I come against you in the name of Jesus. I come against you with the blood of Jesus. I command you out. I command you out. I command you out in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, say it with me. Say you spirit. Say you spirit of infirmity. Say you spirit of setback. Say, you spirit that's hiding in my situation, in my pain, in my setback, I call you out. Say, I call you out in Jesus' name. Come out. Come out from my life, my health, my family, my finances in Jesus' name. Out. 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 Come on, command it out, command it out, command it out in Jesus' mighty name. Use your voice, use your authority. Be to come against that spirit in your family, in your business, in your marriage, in your children, in your health. Come on, call that spirit out and command it to go in Jesus' name. Continue to command them out in the name of Jesus Christ. They are here. They are here and they will be exposed by the light of God. I talk to you right now. There is no hiding place. There is no hiding place. The Word of God searches you out and finds you. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are right now, I command you, lose your grip in the name of Jesus. Lose your grip in the name of Jesus. Every prison door be open in the name of Jesus. Every chain be broken in the name of Jesus. Many of us feel as if we are chained in our situation, imprisoned by our circumstances. It is evil spirits and those chains must break right now. In the name of Jesus, say whatever chain, whatever chain, Satan must have used to connect me to me himself right now by the authority in the name be broken be broken be broken be broken be broken in the name of Jesus begin to break them right now in the name of Jesus whatever that prison may be prison of sickness prison of addiction prison of affliction we need to break it right now in the name of Jesus come on I want you to begin to command them out in Jesus mighty name say this with me say any spirit say you devil whatever you are hiding in my life right now in Jesus name fire 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 say you demon whatever you are hiding in my life in Jesus name fire 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 Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost 
come on open up your lips begin to invite the fire of God in that place right now that demon has to go that demon has to go everything that that demon holds it has to be loosed right now not tomorrow but right now in Jesus mighty name right now in Jesus mighty name say anywhere you are say you unclean spirit you familiar spirit you demon I call you by name I command you ah! see I breathe fire fire and your kingdom and your works and your plans right now you gotta go ah! Ah! in Jesus name see you must understand this is not a drill soldier this is not a drill this it could be a change for somebody in their health 100 percent it could be a change for somebody in their business 100 percent when you remove that demon your health begins to recover when you remove that demon your business can recover when you remove that demon you will no longer see divorce again in Jesus name say you devil whatever you are say you demon whatever you are I command you oh, oh, fire 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 come on begin to invite the fire of the Holy Ghost right now and that spirit begin to fire invite the fire of the Holy Spirit and that darkness in Jesus mighty name Jesus mighty name we are gonna continue to pray right now as we're in an atmosphere of faith right here there are people that are watching us right now in fact the people that are watching us online are more than us in this auditorium right here and as you are watching us right now we want to let you know that you will not escape the anointing of God your case will not escape the anointing of God as you are watching us right now whether it's live or a rebroadcast you too can receive your touch right now deliverance is for you healing is for you blessing is for you right now I want to I want us all to do something right now as you are watching us online join in this prayer right now raise your hand right now raise your hand to heaven whether it's both hands or one of your hands, raise one of them to heaven. We're going to pray for just a few seconds for God Almighty to set this hand aside right now. For the power of sanctification to fall upon our hand so that it would transform into the hand of God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, you said that if you do not use us, if we are not ready, that you will raise up stones. Lord, we are ready right now. This hand is more worthy than a stone, Lord. We pray right now that you will sanctify this hand, Lord, for your superior natural miracles right now. In the name of Jesus, wash it with the blood of Jesus. In a few seconds, we're going to ask everyone to lay your hand on your heart. But wait for a few minutes and await the Holy Spirit. One, at the count of three, all of us, in the name of Jesus, will place our hand on our heart. Don't be surprised if you feel something leaving your body the moment you do that. Don't feel surprised if you're getting angry or if you feel heat. All those things are signs that God Almighty is touching your case right now. Two, prepare your heart right now. Whatever that thing is in your life that you need answers to. Whether it's that you need to be set free from the clutches of addiction, depression or mental problems, family problems, relationship problems, health, promotion, whatever it is, Jesus Christ is about to set you free. Three, place your hand on your heart right now in the name of Jesus. For everyone watching us right now, be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in your heart in the name of Jesus. Be free in your mind in the name of Jesus. Be free in your soul and your body in the name of Jesus. Right now receive that touch from God Almighty. He's touching you right now. In the name of Jesus, let there be light. Let there be light. 
Let there be light in your soul, light in your bodies, light in your mind. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus. right now for those people who have asthma or who due to smoking have a problem with their lungs or have a problem with breathing bronchitis or any other thing that have to do with your breathing your throat even we're just gonna pray right now and release God's healing not just for people here or watching us live stream but for people who will come here in the name of Jesus if you have those illnesses or you know someone who has place your hand just just on your throat or but just just on the throat to represent your lungs and the rest of you I want you to agree together with us that God will release the anointing right now in this room in in this house for healing of asthma of healing of lung disease healing with things that have to do with breathing in Jesus name dear Holy Spirit you are the breath of God right now I ask you that your precious presence that the mercy of God is going to touch every person every child that is dealing with asthma bring total healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ I ask you for people who have problem with their lungs people who have problem because because of smoking because of other things people who have inhaled things and now they have issues in their health because of the things that they've been exposed to let them be healed let the breath of God breathe into their situation right now in the name of Jesus Christ be healed of your affliction that has to do with breathing right now that you will breathe in and breathe out and never have that disease and never have that sickness again in Jesus mighty name we speak God's anointing we rebuke right now every every generational curse of asthma we rebuke right now every demon of breathing problems in Jesus mighty name and we speak God's divine promise that by his stripes we are healed in Jesus mighty name we pray we declare that we speak in that into your situation be healed in Jesus name May 2019 be without this disease May 2019 be without this limitation and without this infirmity in the name of Jesus every head bowed and every eye closed I want to give an opportunity to people today who perhaps are visiting us for the first time or visiting us many times but have not yet made a decision to follow Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior perhaps to you this is just a religion perhaps to you this is just a set of rules or joining a church like you join a gym membership this is not that hell is hot forever is very long and there is only one man, one name given unto man by which you can be saved that is the name of Jesus Bible says it is appointed for man once to die and then there is a judgment meaning we need to get right with God because eternity depends on it we need to get right with God because Jesus died for it you were created for relationship you were created for intimacy with God you were fashioned and designed that's why you run to drugs that's why you run to alcohol you're looking for that which only God can fill only Jesus can fill if you're in this room today and you say Vlad this is me I'm away from God I need to get right with God or maybe you used to be right with God and through many things in your past this year has been tough and you got away from that relationship and you want to start next year right and say I need to get right with God I'm gonna count to three and when I do your, your hand gotta go up like really really up if you're watching us on live stream you can do the same thing you can comment below that you need to get right with God and people who are praying right now upstairs will comment with you in Jesus name so if you need to get right with God one two three just raise that hand up I want to see it thank you thank you thank you thank you anybody else anybody else who says today is my Sunday today I need to get right with Jesus I'm not what I'm supposed to be with God I need to get right with God I'm waiting for you 
the Lord is waiting for you he's knocking on your heart he wants you to come back into a fellowship with him for those of you who have your hand raised or who wanted to raise your hand quickly I'm asking you quickly come out of your seat quickly 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 and just come right here to the front quickly just run 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 just quickly just quickly 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 just come don't be afraid just come don't be afraid just quickly come come on come on come on if you brought a friend that they need to get right with the Lord today and they walked away from Jesus you can ask him right now and just bring them to the front so that today they can get right with Jesus the best day to get right with God is today because today is the day of salvation for those of you watching us on live stream you can comment below and say you know I need to get saved I need I need to accept Jesus in my heart and the moderators will get hold of you in the name of Jesus for watching this content I know this was a blessing to you we would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell on our channel so that each time we upload something you can be notified. Don't forget to share this content with your friends and family and on social media. We're so thankful to you. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come.